Hallelujah. This message, I want to just have a, whatever the Lord says. Um, this is back to the Bible month. Back to the Bible month. This month, you'll see in your program the leaflet that talks about how we need to, as the people of God, we need to turn our attention and focus to God more. And so, I'm one, many of you, who work with the social media and Facebook and you're always on your PDAs and your devices and, and, and it's just what's going on. It's how we communicate. It's how, how we uh, speak and transact uh, business and all that. And it's wonderful what they're doing, you know, uh, with technology. But um, in, in the rush of it all, it, it, it sometimes interrupts our time with God and our focus with God. So back to the Bible simply says that we're going to take some time this month in particular. It's not a fast. It's not a food fast. Uh, but, but it's a time for us to analyze how much television and media that's non-Christian, non-edifying that we intake and begin to limit and restrict ourselves. I'm not saying cut out sports and, and I can't tell you what to do. I'm just suggesting that as a people, let's turn and go back to the word, go back to, to God. And uh, we've, we've got many issues going on in this earth and so we need to go back to God and we're gonna read through the book of Acts. That's your reading for the day, each day. In the month of September, read in the book of Acts, spend 30 minutes reading and meditating on the word. Spend 30 minutes in prayer. And I know that many of you do in excess of this time. That's just minimal for many of us. But there are some of us that don't ever on a daily basis take time to pray or take time to read the word of God. And we're going to be studying the book of Acts in Bible study. So as you read and meditate and as we um, begin to break open the book of Acts, the beginning of the New Testament church, uh, we're just believing that the outcome, you're going to see such a difference in your own life and you're going to see a difference in your family life. You're going to see a difference in the church and even how we have impact in the earth. I just believe that. And so this is back uh, to the Bible month. And last week, um, we talked about uh, the kingdom, talked about kingdom soldiers on the move. I wonder, how, is there anybody just by a quick hand who can give me the three D's that I gave you last Sunday? Three D's, what were they? Don't look, don't look. What were they? All right, all right, that, that the kingdom soldiers have divinity inside. You go to the head of the class. Divinity inside and that we are different and that we are to be devoted. Today I want to look at um, the kingdom in a way that deals with the spirit of the kingdom of God. And if you go back to that text, I won't have you to stand again. Matthew chapter number 12. I'm going to read beginning at verse number 22. Matthew chapter number 12, beginning at verse number 22, it says, this is King, New King James. Then one was brought to him who was demon-possessed, blind and mute, and he healed him so that the blind and mute man both spoke and saw. Somebody say, he's still working. Verse 23 says, And all the multitudes were amazed and said, Could this be the son of David? Now when the Pharisees heard it, they said, This fellow does not cast out demons except by Beelzebub, the ruler of the demons. But Jesus knew their thoughts and said to them, Every kingdom divided against itself is brought to desolation and every city or house or marriage or family or church or community 
that is divided against itself will not stand. He said, if Satan casts out Satan, he's divided against himself. How then will his kingdom stand? And if I cast out demons by Beelzebub, by whom do your sons cast them out? Therefore, they shall be your judges. But if I cast out demons by the Spirit of God, surely the kingdom of God has come upon you. Or how can one enter a strong man's house? and plunder his goods unless he first binds the strong man, and then he will plunder his house. He who is not with me is against me, and he who does not gather with me scatters abroad. All right? Is that the essence of what your Bible says? This morning, I want to talk about uh, united for success. It's a kingdom concept, united for success. How many of you want success in your life? I don't think there's anybody in here or anybody that's in their right mind anywhere who doesn't want success in their life. We want godly kingdom kind of success, isn't that right? Now, I don't, I don't think that there's anybody in here who has missed the reality that we live in a highly polarized society. Is that right? I mean, polarization, which is a sharp division as of a population or, or groups into opposing factions. Polarization. You got uh, folk on this side and you got somebody on this side as it relates to an issue or, 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 or some uh, thought or, or teaching. And, and uh, so we have people, you got the North Pole, you got the South Pole. And you know what? This polarization is impacting everybody in the earth. We will find something that will cause us to be divided over which we can argue or debate. Am I right? Huh? You, that, that's, that's what's going on in this whole earth. Uh, division and so forth. It can be as light as sports teams. Isn't that right? We are polarized, right? Okay, where are all the Duke fans? Now, where are all the Carolina fans? See, we polarized. And that, that is as opposite as the North Pole is to the South Pole, those two teams, all right? But then it can be as major as political issues, all right? You know, and, and which is right? Uh, who's right? The Democrats or the Republicans? Party affiliations, especially every four years, uh, we see the polarization more and more at this time than any other time in our lives. Isn't that right? I mean, all you got to do is listen. All you got to do is watch the news accounts, the stories, as, as they talk about uh, uh, this one camp and their issues and another camp and their issues and, and back and forth. And, and, and it has us, uh, we are even being used as pawns in that whole media system. And, and the reality is that both parties have some good and both parties have some bad things. All right? And, and so people fall out whenever we are reduced to deciding to deal with each other based on earthly or human elements and not spiritual elements. So polarization, I, I want you to understand where it comes from, all right? 